Life Changer starts now. We want you to take this opportunity. Please take this opportunity to get healthy and do what it takes to change your life. Okay, what, what Dawn is talking about, take this opportunity, is that we have an opportunity for both of you. I have some people I want you both to meet. This woman was homeless and living on the street herself at the age of 16. She is the founder and CEO of Safe Harbor Treatment Center for Women in Costa Mesa, California. Please welcome Velvet Mangan. I mean, you, you can probably deeply relate to this story, Sharon's story particularly. Absolutely. Sharon, everything that you're saying brings me home. I was 14 years old, actually, when my dad died of a massive heart attack. It was the second day of high school. And three days later, my mom tried to kill herself and was put in a mental institution. And I lived in the family car. But, but I mean, this is a vivid reflection of yes. what you're dealing with. Her dad, her mom had mental illness. Her dad died. And, and look at this. Don't you, don't you want some of that? Don't you want to be like that? What would you like to offer her? I want to bring you home. I want to bring you home to Safe Harbor Treatment Center for Women. And it's something I created when I was 23 years old because I had such a deep, deep, sorrowful place for girls just like you and me. And I, I just, I have nothing but love. And I want you to know that it's, it's home. It's not anything like anything you've ever experienced. Sharon, we try it? I think about it. Sharon, Sharon, come on, dude. Come on. Just go look at it. Go look at it. What do you got to lose? Time. Time on the street, time slamming speed, whatever you're doing, or smoking pot. I don't know what. what no, you never know. You, you, if, you I was, get, okay, if I wasn't there know. in that exact same position that I was that day, y'all would have never found me. It's all about well, timing. You're on everything we're trying to give you, so we might as well have not found you. That so, cool. I'm, I'm just saying. I'd better off because I won't have to deal with the I put up with. Like, I'm just saying. Your door is always open. I always imagine. open. I, I, you can't save them all. She may be one of the ones that uh, doesn't survive this. Well, I hope I to see you again. You. I hope to see. I you. hope so. Yes. Benjamin Levinson is the founder and owner of Origins Recovery in Texas. Benjamin, you have something for Justin. Hey, Justin. Don't be fooled by the suit. I've been there. I'm here to uh, help you fight for your life because I really think that's in the balance. I saw she, her, she was encouraging you to go during the break. Justin. You're at a crossroads. Dr. Drew has arranged an awesome gift to transform your life and become the man you were built to be. And that's what we do at Origins. And that's what we're offering you today. Will you come back to Texas with me? Give it a try, please. Please. about me just getting a place and getting my job back. We can't do that using. We have to get you sober first. I did it, I did it using before. And that's why you don't have the job now. No, I don't have the so. job now because I went to the store for somebody else. OK. All right, Th this is what we call stinking thinking. And you and I, we've all seen stinking thinking. This is why these conditions are so difficult to treat and why you can't just reason with people about what they need to do. It's far deeper than that. And the reality is people have to do it their own way. And that's why addicts need to uh, nearly die or die, but nearly die before they get well many times, most of the time. Um, you guys, I'm going to give you an opportunity to keep working with them backstage. We have uh, an aftercare specialist that we work with everybody, continue to work with them. Um, my hope is that some of that stinking thinking will settle down when we have a little quiet time to work with them. And maybe we can get them onto treatment, and we will, of course, keep you guys updated on what happens with these guys.
Stay with us. We'll be right back.